I'm Trina McCowan, the assessment librarian at UNF, and today I'm reading from This Book is Gay by Juno Dawson, which tied for the number 10 position of 2022's Most Banned Book. Dawson, a former sex ed teacher, wrote the book to supplement existing sexual education curricula that omitted aspects of the LGBTQ experience. It's a lighthearted, age-appropriate take on an important topic that all teens need to know about. In April 2023, Juno Dawson told Rolling Stone, we're all very clear, this book is gay is not for children. If we really wanted to keep kids in the United States safe, we wouldn't be talking about books. We'd be talking about guns. And now on to the fun part. Here's an excerpt from This Book is Gay. B is for bisexual. This is nothing new. The people of ancient Greece and Rome were generally pansexual, or people who are sexually attracted to people regardless of their gender or sexuality, and no one batted an eyelid. Sadly for us, we like things to be binary. Black, white, good, bad, male, female. And this isn't great for anyone. Broadly speaking, a bisexual is someone who likes to have sex with both men and women. There are a plethora of misunderstandings about bisexuality, the most prevalent being the by now gay later theory that all gay men and lesbians have a brief period in bi town before catching the last train to gayville. While this is the case for some actual gay men and women, there are plenty of people who have no intention of traveling all the way to the end of the line, and that's fine. The idea that bisexual people are kidding themselves or that they're being selfish and or greedy is hurtful. Why is it so hard to accept that someone might be attracted to both sexes? If someone is willing to identify as bi, then surely they'd be just as happy to wear a gay label. What would the point be in lying? Why do we so badly need people to be gay or straight? Bisexual people might be misunderstood, but they have the right to be proud of their identity and sexual preference. 